so in part two, I'm going to show you some of the ins and outs of Cengage now. And again, this is where you're going to submit your homework assignments and exams. At the top, you'll see that we're in the assignments tab. And when you click on this, it's going to default to assignments I can take now. So any assignment that's available to you, it will pop up here. Remember, every assignment is a prerequisite for the next. So for example, when chapter one lecture assignment comes up, you'll finish that. And then if you come back into the assignments tab, that's when the chapter one homework assignment part one will be available to you. You'll have to complete that, get a grade of a 72.5% or better, and then come back into this assignments tab and then the part two assignment will be available to you. If you wanna see all the assignments, simply click here and you can see all of the assignments that you're gonna have this semester, when it is available, when it's due, the number of times you're allowed to take it and whether or not your prerequisite has been met. Under assignments, I can practice now, you are gonna see these practice sets. These practice sets are simply there to help you practice the material. Um, students have said in the past, it's been a wonderful way to practice before an exam. So you can take those as many times as you want. They are not graded. They're purely there for your practice. Once you've submitted an assignment, especially a homework assignment, I can't stress enough the importance of going right here to the grades tab. After you submit an assignment, it will automatically give you your grade for that assignment. So let's say you take the chapter one homework assignment part one and you get an 80 on it. Go right to the grades tab. Your grade for that assignment will be in a blue link. If you click on it, it will open up the assignment. It will show you the answers that you submitted. It will show you the correct answers and it will provide you feedback on how to arrive at the correct answers, especially if there's any calculation involved. This is one of the best ways to learn because you learn from your mistakes. So if you go in here and see what you did wrong, it's going to stick with you so when you get to the exam, you don't make those same mistakes. So please make sure you always go into that grades tab and click on your grade to see what you did right and what you did wrong with each assignment. As I mentioned, you have two different types of assignments in this class. You have lecture assignments and you have um, homework assignments. Lecture assignments are short videos that you're gonna watch about each learning objective and you're gonna answer some questions. So right here is where you'd click to see the video and you'd watch the video. They're all closed captioned as well. Um, so you can watch that. And then once you finish, you'll come back here and answer the questions. Down here at the bottom, you see that you get to check your work one time. So that means there's six questions here in the assignment. You get to check your work one time per each one of those six questions. And it will tell you which answers you have right and which answers you have wrong. Down here, you'll also see that you can save and exit. So if you answered this first one, but then you have to go do something, click save and exit and it will save your progress. Do not hit the submit assignment for grading button until you've answered every single one of those questions. So again, in this case, all six of these before you hit that submit assignment for grading. Also, if you've saved your progress and then you do not submit the assignment for grading by the due date and time, you will not get credit for the assignment. The system does not submit the assignment for you at the due date. You have to submit the assignment. So please make sure that you go in and submit the assignment before the due date and time so that you get credit for it. You also have homework assignments that you're going to have. And your homework assignments are going to be applying what you've learned through the lecture assignments and from what we've learned in class. So again, in this question, in this homework assignment, you have eight questions. The great thing about this is you can reassign and realign the different panels so that you can have everything opened side by side so there's no scrolling kind of back and forth for you. At the top, you will find that there's a variety of resources. If you click here under ebook, it's going to bring you to the exact section of the textbook where this topic is discussed. 
if you are having some trouble, go to the show me how video. It's going to show you how to do a example that's very similar to the one that you're working on. You also have a calculator built in and you can print this out if you'd like to have it out done in paper first. Again, at the bottom, you can check your work. You get to check your work three times per question in your homework assignments. Again, you can save your progress and come back to it and you submit it once you're done and you have to make sure you submit it by the due date and time. If you're working on an assignment and you're still stuck, you can hit this wonderful button called Email Instructor. What this does is that it takes an entire screenshot of the problem that you're working on and then it gives you an email box that allows you to send me an email with your question. One thing that I will caution you to, when I respond to this email, it's going to, going to go back to whatever email address you log into Cengage now with. So if that happens to be a personal email address and you haven't heard from me in about 24 hours, please go to your spam or junk folder and see if it happened to go in there by accident. Same thing with Northern Essex emails. If you happen to haven't heard from me for about 24 hours, go into your spam or junk folder and see if my response to your question has gone in there. You'll also find under study tools that there's something called the adaptive study plan. So when you click on the adaptive study plan, you'll see the chapters and yours will say start studying beside each one. So if you click on start studying, it's going to provide you some resources. So every learning objective, if you click on it, is going to show you all the show me how videos. Some of them have something that's called a dynamic exhibit. Some have additional practice that you can do. That's all in here. You can also take a quiz. It's a multiple choice quiz that is going to give you a grade per learning objective. And it tracks your progress up here. So you can see in this one, I didn't pass any of the learning objectives. Once you've taken the quiz, you'll see that each question that was covered in that learning objective is here. You can see what the correct answer was and why it's the correct answer. And then it will give you a suggested study plan for any learning objective that you didn't do well in. It's gonna suggest some items for you to review and take a look at. And then you can retake the quiz and test yourself to see if you've done better. Also under study tools, and you'll be able to access through your dashboard as well if you have Cengage Unlimited, is the ebook. So if you buy Cengage Unlimited, it's going to give you access to Cengage Now and the ebook. And if you buy Cengage Unlimited, it also gives you the option of purchasing a textbook rental. So they'll send you a hard copy of the textbook. Um, they'll ship it to you for free. They'll give you a return shipping address so it doesn't cost you anything to ship it back. And it only costs you $7.99. So if you like to have a physical textbook, you can do that through Cengage Unlimited. And all of that information is included in that PDF that I sent to you. The ebook, however, is very interactive. It's not your typical ebook. So when you click on a chapter, you will see all of the chapter contents. And you can click on any one of those items and it will bring you to the page that it talks about it. You can highlight in different colors the ebook. You can add a note in the ebook. And you can even have the textbook read to you. So if you just wanted one area read, you can click read text. Or if you want the entire page read to you, you click on this icon over here. You can increase the font size, you can bookmark a page, and you can print out a page um, that you have. Over here in the corner, this where it says my notes looks like a pencil and a highlighter. That's where you'll find any highlights and any notes that you took. You can print out your notes and it tells you when you actually took the note and where it's located. If you're having the textbook read to you and you want to change any of the features with regards to the speed or the voice of the reader, you can change those here. And there are flashcards made for every chapter. 
so that you can quiz yourself. So you can flip a card to get the definition, you can shuffle the deck, and you can even create your own card. So as I mentioned before, there's a lot of resources involved in Cengage now, um, but those resources are only good if you take advantage of them. So please utilize them as much as you can. Um, if you have any questions while you're getting started or getting registered into Cengage now, please reach out to me. Um, you do have assignments due by the start of our first class next Wednesday. So please make sure you get logged in and you get those assignments done so you're starting off the semester on a good foot. If you have any questions, get in touch with me, and I look forward to meeting all of you next week.